we're going to talk about some really interesting uh, things that are happening in terms of VR and storytelling today. What I'd like to do is uh, give you a kind of a, a, a unique perspective on augmented and uh, virtual reality. Virtual reality has, has a significant number of, of uses. It's going to be incredibly big for gaming and everything, AR as well. But in terms of storytelling, it's a unique thing. So really, this is about how advances in technology affect the filmmakers' approach towards storytelling. When we first uh, became involved in the idea of uh, VR and really as an extension of filmmaking. One of the main things that we had to, uh, to battle over and, and, and defeat was that the issue of how close you could actually get to the camera. And once that's cracked, which, which now is, is the case, then it becomes much more immersive filmmaking because you can really put the, the audience exactly where you want them to be in the scene. It took me back to thinking about filmmaking and, and uh, some of the great classics of uh, Stagecoach, you know, the, John, the John Huston, uh, Henry Ford, uh, John Ford, all their films. Uh, one of the great things about it, we talk about how they used to frame beautifully the deserts and how everything looked fantastic. And so with the advent of the, of the new VR cameras, we can now do that in an entirely different way. Now, what it would mean now with a, in, in that world of VR is that you could be Max or you could be over Max's shoulder and everywhere you turned around there'd be another war boy coming and attacking you on a pole. So it allows you to be put in a position that you could never be before and appreciate it. The other great thing it really does is it makes you the, your own editor and your own director. The other part of it is that it's not just filmmakers that are going to come in, it's going to be people that design games and they're going to bring their, their skill set and their tools and their approach to it. And you're going to see people that come from traditional theatre. You can take advantage of a lot of the things that VR can do for you um, in this space and there are certain things that it's, that it's good at. In the earlier days, just even understanding placement, where you know, proximity to people gave you a different emotional mm -hmm. you know, understanding. Um, the, the, the way in which the, the three-dimensionality of it affects your experience. These are the things that VR can, can manipulate and change and alter to give you a different feeling. It's more of an immersive experience. A lot of people make the mistake of saying, oh, well, I've got a great script. I'm going to shoot it with a VR camera instead of a regular camera. And under no circumstances can you do that and have an engaging VR piece. Everything needs to be very, very deliberately blocked and choreographed to lead your audience's attention and to lead that experience. You, as a director, need to very deliberately choreograph and block things so that you lead a cone of attention around the space. In terms of story, there really isn't any reason why you couldn't have a story experience with any of the characters that you, know, you see in film at the moment. You know, it's, it's another way for you to interact with them, follow them, understand them. But the more that people go out there and start making this and, and really looking at it from a content-driven point of view, I think very, very soon, by the end of this year, I can pretty well guarantee you're going to be seeing episodic VR. Augmented reality, I think, is going to be the next opportunity for attracting audiences to enhance narrative storytelling in many, many different ways.